Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tracky series here. This is Jason, and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Within this video, I'm going to show you how to make and use maps in Minecraft. I'm basically going to show you all of the little functions and features of maps within your Minecraft game right here. But just before I get into the video, I just want to remind you I do lots of different Minecraft content so if you do enjoy the video be sure to check out the channel and subscribe but I'm currently in Minecraft 1.16.5 and I'm on the Java edition so if you are on Bedrock or console or pocket edition or something like that then I will leave a page or a link in the description with more details if you want to find out more stuff for Bedrock edition but I am going to be showing Java edition within this video right here now the first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to make a map itself. This is how you make an empty map in the game. You need a compass and eight pieces of paper. Once you actually create an empty map, it is currently uninitialized. It's, it's basically not been set in any way. Now what we now need to do is we just need to right click with the map in our hand and as you can see it is now generated with a full interactive map and as you can see it has a white arrow graphic to show where we are on the map and it shows all of the surrounding area now this is the base map so each pixel area on the map is one block in the game. So this is the most zoomed in map that you can actually get. Now you can get special maps within the games. For example, here is the an ocean explorer map, which you use to try and find an ocean monument, or you have a woodland explorer map. Now this is a map that you can also use to try and find a woodland mansion. You can also get buried treasure maps as well, which you can find in treasure chests. But you can get the explorer maps from cartographer villagers within villages right here. You will know if it's a cartographer villager because they will have a gold monocle on them. And they will also be near a cartography table. These maps operate in exactly the same way as ordinary Minecraft maps. The only thing is that obviously these maps could be showing you an area that's many, many blocks away from your current location. As you can see, the white dot is in the bottom right hand corner for this example right here, which means that I would have to go in a particular direction in order to actually find that ocean monument. You can also name Minecraft maps by placing a map that you have actually generated or a map that you've actually obtained within an anvil. All you need to do is place it in the anvil and then select a new name and it will actually be one enchantment cost. And as you can see right here, we have now created a map with a custom name. Now the next thing we need to go through is the cartography table. This is a utility block within the game that you can find within Minecraft villages, but you can actually craft this block yourself. All you need to do is get two bits of paper and four blocks of wood, and that allows you to actually craft a cartography table. Now there are two main uses of a cartography table. You can use a cartography table to essentially duplicate or to copy or clone a map. So what we can actually do right here is we can actually clone this map we just renamed right here. All you need to do is place the map in the top slot and then place another empty map underneath. Now if you actually do that you will notice that now we actually have two maps that are down here and as you can see we have actually cloned the map and both of these are now actually the same map. The next thing you can use the cartography table for is to zoom out the map. 
So what we can actually do right here is if we place the map in this slot right here, we can add one bit of paper. Now, as you can see, it is now zoomed out the map. Now, each time you do this, you're basically increasing the ratio by a power of two. So the standard map is a one to one ratio, meaning that each pixel area on the map is one block. But in this case right here, because we've actually zoomed it out, in this case right here, each little pixel area on the map is actually four blocks in total. So the ratio is one to two. And you can continue doing this with each of the maps. If you add another bit of paper again, we then get a map that's one to four ratio. And then we can do it again with another bit of paper to get one to eight. And then we can do it again to get one to 16. If you use a one to 16 map, this is the most zoomed out that you can actually get. What this actually means is that each pixel area that's actually on the map is 256 blocks or 16 by 16 blocks. Basically, each pixel area on the map is one chunk wide. Another thing you can do with Minecraft maps as well is that you can actually right click an item frame and it actually places your map on the wall, which is a very, very handy feature. It allows you to check the map without actually holding it in your hand. And the only downside of actually placing it on the wall is it stops dynamically updating. As you can see, we have placed some crimson grass from the never right here. And if I actually get rid of it very quickly right here, you'll notice that the map itself does not update by itself. You will see that the red is still there. I actually have to force it to update by looking at another map of the same kind. And as you can see, as soon as I do that, it actually updates the other map on the wall. That's the only downside of having a map on the wall. You can actually right click on the map to actually rotate it within the item frame, which is very cool as well. Another feature of the cartography table is if you actually use a glass pane and a map that you've actually generated, it actually locks the Minecraft map itself. So as you can see, it now says that it's locked. And what that actually means is that it basically stops updating. So if I actually place some of this crimson grass over here, you'll notice that the map no longer actually says that that's actually been placed. If the map was unlocked, you would actually see the red blocks appear on the map. But because we've actually locked this map, it's not actually showing this change that we've actually applied. Another nice trick as well is that if you have any of these explorer maps, whether it's the ocean explorer map or the woodland explorer map, you can actually clone these maps by just placing the map in a crafting table and placing empty maps near it. As you can see, if we actually place uh, three more empty maps near this explorer map, we actually, we actually clone it three times. And as you can see, we now have four of the explorer map that we actually have. So that is how you can actually clone very, very easily the ocean, the explorer maps that you get from the cartographer villagers. Right, the last feature that we're going to go through that Minecraft maps can actually do is you can actually put waypoints on your Minecraft maps. So I am using my zoomed in map right here. And as you can see, we have this red banner right here. And if I actually right click on the banner, you'll notice that the banner is now added to the map. And also over here, I've actually placed a blue banner right here. I've put a blue banner all the way over here so that you can see it working. So if I right click this over here, you'll see that we have now added a blue banner 
to our Minecraft map right here. You have to right click every map that you want to be able to display these banner waypoints on. And if we actually right click the map into the item frame, you will see that now these waypoints actually appear on the map itself. Now another cool thing is that if you want to turn off the waypoint, all you need to do is go to the banner that you want to turn off and right click on the banner again. And as you can see, we have now taken away the banner and we can actually put it back on, take it off, put it back on as much as we like. All right, everyone, that is now the end of this tutorial. It is very surprising how many features and little functions Minecraft maps have actually in the game. But hopefully you found this video very useful and maybe I showed you something with Minecraft maps that you did not know you could do before. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it useful, then a like on the video would be very, very much appreciated. And also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is now on the video itself at Draki Series on Twitter, or you can use the link in the description. And if you want to check out more Minecraft content, whether it's Minecraft Survival, Minecraft Tutorials, all sorts of content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Please click the notification bell if you want to be notified of any new uploads. But hopefully you enjoyed this video everyone and hopefully you have fun with your new Minecraft maps right here. I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.